Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Redan. So today, of course, I want to talk about movies and such, which of course is what I typically do anyway, obviously. And this video isn't really going to be too far from that, really. But it's just going to be one of these news discussion videos that I've done from time to time. And just thought I'd just do this, of course, because I thought it was a ridiculous thing. This kind of a response to a response to the live action Barbie film, which, by the way, I've already reviewed a little while ago. I've already reviewed this film a little while ago, so I just thought I'd do it this video. And yes, before anyone says anything, yes, I was fully aware of the controversy surrounding this film, even during my initial movie review. I just attempted to avoid like the plague. Though I did briefly mention it in my original video where people were just making all these kinds of claims. People would just make these absurd claims because for whatever stupid reason. Even though what they're saying makes no logical sense whatsoever. And before I progress from here, of course bigotry should never be accepted. Bigotry should never be tolerated in any shape or form. Our bigotry is bad. There's no way to justify it just doing it out there all bigotry is bad okay from whatever group that's been discriminated against bigotry is always terrible just throwing that out there anyway there is this universally individual who refuses to subject said daughter to the barbie film or any other movie like that because it tries to teach the whites are always right what like what are you talking about you you, you watch the same movie as i did right i what this individual makes a further claim that movies like this on commercials in the United States are trying to act as if that white people have a monopoly over beauty, like beauty products, the makeup, and whatever else it gets, and dresses, stuff like this. Like, what are you talking about? Did you see the same movie as I did? Quite obviously, that was a rhetorical question because he clearly did not see the live action version of Barbie, ever. And yes, I'm going to bring up the Woman King for a brief moment here, because first of all, that title doesn't even make any sense. When you think about it, shouldn't it be the Woman Queen? Anyway, yes, of course, he's trying to do this whole story where this tribe is trying to overpower these bad people. Wow, well, yes, I've seen films that can actually say that uh, thousands of times far worse than a Woman King. Yes, that's true. But this film is completely in, historically inaccurate because it's all trying to glorify some aspect of these tribes. Because in reality, some of these individuals actually sold their own people to slave owners. That's actually a, a harsh reality this film completely ignores. Which seems rather odd because lots of people from Hollywood seem to generalize Africa, considering the fact that it has its own rich culture when you think about it. There are plenty of characters within the comic books, whether it's the MCU or DC Comics, that are from Africa. So, making this big budget movie is quite clearly a wasted opportunity, because they could actually use that resources to bring up any of these characters so they can shine through the big silver screen. I mean, yes, those Black Panther and Storm, those are like the most obvious characters to go done, sure. But why not bring some of the other characters that hardly anyone knows about? Only like the diehard combo book fans may know about, but the general audience may not know or even be aware of these, char of, of these characters in any shape or form. So this could have easily been a good way to educate people about a song culture. Because this seems like a good idea when you think about it. So it seems odd that this professor who, who has mentioned this article doesn't even talk about this like whatsoever. Not only that, it wasn't actually an animated movie. Yeah, this one it was released in 2021. Where she befriends an individual who happens to have the same name. And they became friends regardless of the skin color. And that's being close right there. And that actually told a pretty decent story as a whole. And not only that, 
it was actually a TV show as well and that pretty much more or less did the exact same thing. This was released on Netflix, by the way. So how is it that this professor individual doesn't even know this? I'm, I'm not even a Barbie fan, like at all, yet I know this. This doesn't make any sense, like at all. It's so bizarre. And also, here's the thing though. Where was this attitude when the pretty much remade Godzilla and did not include any of the Asian cast members as the main characters? And then there's like a whole plethora of Asian remakes. I do mean a lot. And now these characters really were portrayed as Asian, really? Like at all? They were being played by American actors. So I found that kind of weird. That this kind of thing was never even mentioned, like, at all in this article. Like, at all. You'd think they would've, when you think about it. And of course, of course, of course, it doesn't stop there. There's other films in a similar vein, I guess you can say. I didn't do me, there's quite a few of these. And these aren't even obscured titles at all. They're pretty well known, actually. So... What about that? And this even extends to anime as well. So you would think they would have hired Asian actors or, or actors to play the part, but they clearly didn't. Uh, come on. Oh boy, I can't, I can't go on and on and on with this, definitely. I could do this all day. What I'm saying here is that this professor individual He's just picking and choosing, so what he's trying to say here doesn't, doesn't seem genuine at all. I mean, I went to the same movie in the movie theaters, by the way, and then I rewatched it when it came out into a physical media, because I do own a digital download version, and I rewatched it, of course. So I've seen the film twice at this point, of course, and the thing is that, like, what are you talking about? How the hell did you get a job at university if, you, if you're going to make such a really stupid, brainless remark? So anyway, this university individual, he just said that he would refuse to take his young daughter to see the Barbie movie because she already receives enough unintentional whiteness. What, whatever that means. I don't know that. What? Okay, no, no one's saying, no one's saying or implying anything within the confines of the movie. It just makes me wonder: Did you even see the movie? Did you even see the film? I highly doubt it, because you're just making a, an objection because of some absurd reason. Because it sounds like you just, uh, you're just projecting that there. You're just projecting this onto the film, and he has no right to be here because some absurd reason. You're not making any sense. Okay, what's the basis for this exactly? I have no idea. Anyway, this was mentioned on Thursday where he also asked, asked editor and uh, this, this uh, thing, I guess, the salon, I suppose, on some dot com kind of a thing, some website thing, pinned a commentary on the li li liberal news and opinion website explained why he would not subject himself or his child to the new Barbie film. So this tells me that he he hasn't even seen the movie. Like I don't maybe just the trailers and that's it. And as far as it went, like this doesn't make any sense. You're already judging a movie before you even watch it. That's like backwards when you think about it. So you watch it first. Anyway, he goes on to say that Barbie which does have like a new non-white cast members. I'm like okay. I mean yes, that's true that. This Barbie film is being inclusive by having people from different ethnicities to be in the film. I mean, okay, so what? That doesn't mean the movie's trying to say something. That doesn't mean that the movie's trying to make it political. I mean, yeah, so like there's an Asian kin. Yes, there's an Asian kin and a white kin there. Yes, that's there. Sure. There's even a black Barbie and even a pregnant Barbie as well. So there's even like a punk rock Barbie as well. So yes, there's of course the traditional, the blonde Barbie, which of course is the main character of the film. Well, part of the main character anyway, because the white kid does his own thing as well. 
But besides all that, that doesn't mean the movie is trying to make a statement. What the movie is trying to do is actually is trying to have Ken find who he is. And Barbie herself, the original Barbie, I mean, is trying to find who she is. Who am I? Who is he? Who is this person? Who am I as an individual? This could be applied to anybody. It doesn't matter who you are or what gender you identify as or where you came from. It doesn't matter. That's a message that anybody could you know, think about. Who am I? How do I fit in this world? Who am I as an individual? That's, that's very relatable. It doesn't matter if you're Mexican, Chinese, Vietnamese, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Or Cuban or whatever. You can't be two feet tall or six feet tall. It doesn't matter your height. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. This kind of message could be applied to literally anybody. Literally. Barbie herself, the original Barbie, and Ken are trying to find themselves who they are. Who are they as a person, or in this case, people, even though they were supposed to be toys or whatever? Okay, but that's kind of the whole thing anyway. Of course, obviously, Barbie started off as a toy. But then, eventually, it the Barbie toy adventured out to multiple different things. Because Barbie was a, a doctor, she was a nurse, she was a lawyer, she was a cop, she was this and that, you name it. She was a... Numerous. She took numerous occupations. She could be a. She could be a. I don't know. A surgeon, or anybody like that. A baker. You name it. That. But that was the point. She could literally be anybody. But that the film is trying to express who is she. The dolls themselves. The Barbie dolls could be whatever the, the, whoever owns a toy. Like a, whatever little girl owns a toy. That toy can be whatever the little girl wants. But then the movie is trying to express. Okay, which person does Barbie want to decide? Who does she want to be? Kind of thing. And same thing with Ken. And if, if anything, this kind of reminds me of more of a Ken movie, really. If we can be honest here. It, it kind of reminds me of it's more of a Ken film. Because when it comes to these toys, nobody really thinks about Ken. Not really. Maybe for like a split second, nobody really did doubt about Ken, but no more than just a few seconds. And that's it. Because when it comes to the Barbie toys, the, the more worry about the accessories, the more worry about, you know, something that's like that. What is she capable of having? Maybe she has a toy, core, whatever. The the house, like the multiple Barbie house or whatever. The When it comes to the people who are fans of this, they'll be more worried about that kind of a thing than versus who Ken is. So, yeah, the people who made the film, they know that. They're fully aware of that. So they thought they could use that as a plot line for the film. Just so, like I was saying a moment ago, Ken can find out who he is as an individual. Which is fine, he can just try to express this kind of a thing. And, uh, but apparently, uh, the Barbie film has one of the widest trailers that the, he ever saw in his entire life. But like, what does that even mean? Like, what? And he goes on to say that, no, he's not that guy. He genuinely believed that artists and filmmakers can create whatever they want. And yes, that's true. It's freedom of speech. You can create whatever they want, of course, with their creations. He just he goes on to say that he just must be cautious of what to expose to his daughter to. I expose them of what? What do you mean by that? And then he's concerned about his daughter's inability to comprehend the complex the complexities of gender of as, as a young age, like again, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I don't know. And then goes on to say that he, if he googles attractive woman and the page on Google will fill with nothing but white faces. Uh, okay, if you want to see more pretty faces from a different country, then type that specific. Ethnic background. Go to Google and say attractive uh, Venezuelan or attractive, I don't know, Eastern European or whatever, whatever you want to type in. You, if you want to be more specific, then type up something more specific. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Funny how he never mentions the fact, okay, let's say he lives in, I don't know, in South Korea. If he did just that in South Korea, what are you going to see? A bunch of Korean women being attractive. Or if he does that in China, you can see a bunch of Chinese women that's attractive. 
or if you go that do the same thing if you google something in, in japan what are you going to see mostly japanese so maybe it has something to do with i don't know but america's uh, the united states of america is supposed to be having this melting pot of different code with so again that just comes off like he's just projecting that there the movie never ever ever the movie never brings up race like at all the movie film never brings up race in any shape or form like at all so the only person that's mentioning this it's him so you're willing to admit that life itself can be complicated which yes that's true life itself can be complicated and yes, he was also right about the fact that, yeah, little kids may not comprehend what, you know, gender roles are or breaking the norms. Yeah, little kids may not comprehend this right away. Yeah, that's and he's right about that. That's true. But that's the thing, though. That, that's not me trying to bring any credit to him at all, because what I'm trying to say is that people like this might want to bring in maybe a corner of truth, like maybe a little bit of truth in their arguments. And trying to use that as a way to bring in the point of view, which, like I was saying, he's just lying. He's using a bit of truth to promote his lying, which, yes, is a form of manipulation. What does race got to do with anything? I don't, I don't know. Even the film itself mentioned the fact that there's been multiple different Barbies. And right in the beginning of the film, and right in the very, very beginning of the film, they actually showed a black Barbie. Or whatever else you can think of. They show that in the beginning of the film. So, again, I'm just wondering, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What? I don't know. I mean, yes, unfortunately, bigotry is still around to this very day. Yes, people still get discriminated against to this very day. Unfortunately, that's true. But that's not the movie's fault. That's not what the movie's trying to do. The movie isn't doing that at all. Anyway... So I just thought I'd just do this real quick. So thanks for watching and, and take care. <sighs> Whatever. Just, I don't get that. Like I said a moment ago, folks, that's why I don't want to do this too often because it just feels like they're just reg people like this are just regurgitating the same thing again and again, over and over and over and again. It's tiring. Anyway, later.